State of Indian Economy on the Eve of Independence. At the time of British rule, Indian economy was transformed into a colonial backward, semi-feudal, stagnant, depleted and amputed economy by the Britishers. Number 1. Indian economy. India had faced colonial exploitation for over 200 years. By supplying raw materials from India to facilitate the growth of British industry, British rulers drained a huge wealth of India. The Britishers also encouraged commercialization of Indian agriculture in order to transform the Indian economy into a British colony. Besides, even at the time of independence, the British colonial policy had a deep impact on India. Number 2. Semi-feudal economy. By the end of the British rule, there were two aspects of the Indian economy. That is, the introduction of the feudal system and the introduction of the capitalist system. Introduction to feudal system or land settlement system initiated feudal regulations that is landlord tenant relations. The landlords were cruel to the cultivators and used to charge high lagan rates to them. Also the introduction of capitalist system increases modern industries resulting in the creation of two classes which were laborers and capitalists. Number 3. Stagnant economy. An economy that is growing at a very low rate is known as a stagnant economy. On the eve of independence, during the first half of the 20th century, India's growth of aggregate real output was less than 2% and its growth per capita output was only 0.5%. Number 4. Depleted economy or depreciated economy. A depleted economy is one where there are no arrangements to replace the physical assets which are depreciated because of excessive use. The Indian economy at the time of independence was a depreciated economy. Besides, at the time of the Second World War, the Indian industries had to work beyond their capacities in order to fulfill the increased demand for machinery, plants, etc. for the war. However, the Britishers did not make any arrangements for replacing the depleted assets because of which the British rulers left a seriously depleted economy. Number 5. Backward Economy At the end of British rule, India was an underdeveloped and backward economy. The main reasons behind the Indian economy's backwardness were low productivity level, low per capita income, mass illiteracy, traditional methods of agriculture, high birth rate and high death rate. Number 6. Amputated Economy Britishers had a policy of divide and rule which quickly gave rise to discrimination between different groups based on caste, culture, language and religion. Because of this policy, at the time of independence, India was geographically divided into two different parts, India and Pakistan. This partition of the country divided into two parts virtually disrupted the Indian economy because of two main reasons. Firstly, there was a shortage of raw materials for cotton and jute mills because most of the areas where cotton and jute used to grow went to Pakistan. Secondly, the partition gave rise to a problem of rehabilitation of large number of refugees from Pakistan.